federal judge is offering a man accused of scamming veterans out of millions of dollars to pay them back. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has the latest. According to court documents, Scott Cohn preyed on veterans by giving them loans with sky high interest rates as a practice courts have ruled is illegal. $436 million. That's how much the court has ordered Scott Cohn and his companies to pay victims. In 2019, Cohn was indicted on several counts of fraud. According to the indictment, his company, Future Income Payments, targeted pension holders who were desperate for money, including many veterans. They would make monthly payments to the company in exchange for cash or a loan, but the interest would often exceed a hundred percent. Greenville attorney Beatty Ashmore has been tasked with tracking down the money owed to victims. They might get two thousand dollars and be forced to pay back twenty two thousand dollars over time. Just just a horrendous situation for for many of the veterans across uh, America. He says there are thousands of victims across the country, including about a hundred in South Carolina. Let's just say this: the case certainly involves hundreds of millions of dollars. The pension payments collected were then sold to investors in a Ponzi scheme, according to the Department of Justice. Cohn was captured in 2019. Records show he's being held at the Spartanburg County Detention Center. In February, a judge ordered him and his companies to pay back hundreds of millions of restitution, plus a civil penalty of $65 million. Ashmore says getting the money owed to veterans and pensioners is going to be tough. Those at the top of a pyramid scheme uh, are bad guys, and they have been hiding money. They've been spending money. Uh, they've been taking uh, innocent people's money, giving it to uh, other uh, unknowing victims in order to, to feed the pyramid scheme. So, you know, a lot of the funds are, are simply gone and will never be recovered. Ashmore says he expects to be able to recover some of that money, but it'll take years. In Greenville, and Maxwell, 7 News. Cohn is facing up to 20 years in federal prison.